that's wonderful. So, um, we're going to be playing some Minecraft today, but this is not just any Minecraft. This is uh, a modded Minecraft. If you're not familiar uh, with Feed the Beast, this is a community mod pack group that uh, does amazing stuff. They have a long history doing uh, mod packs with uh, up hundreds of mods at a time that all are made to work seamlessly so there's not bugs or issues you don't have to worry about installing all these packs together yourself and troubleshooting trying to get them to work by installing them in different orders none of that um feed the beast handles all that for you, you just type in you know you can search from a list of different mod packs and it installs it all for you onto a fresh vanilla installation of minecraft and you're off to the races with whatever mod pack you want um free also i should mention so if you haven't tried it Definitely check it out. They have so much good stuff. I would recommend you start with uh, Feed the Beast Academy if you're going to try out modded Minecraft for the first time. Uh, that is a great thing. They have Feed the Beast University after that to kind of help you get started and familiarize yourself with all of the different mods. Because I mean, I am not kidding when I say there are thousands of mods that you will want to learn once you get into this. It's so fun. There's so much cool stuff. Um, now, I haven't actually played uh, this mod pack very much at all. I, I played it, I think, for an hour or two earlier, just getting my bearings, setting up like a very basic house and deciding kind of what to do first. Um, haven't really done much. I found a ruined portal nearby and, um, you know, just sitting there. I, I think what we're going to do is try to go for some power generation at first. Um, we're going to go seek out uh, what we need to make some, uh, co some coal ovens and then try to burn the oil and the coal that that generates to create some electricity um, and do some really, really cool stuff with that. So uh, we need a lot of things to get there, though. We're, you know, we're started. We don't even have um, armor at this point, so we've got a, got a long way to go just getting started. So uh, I hope that you are excited. Uh, I know I am. Let's uh, go full screen here and get going on this. Um, all right, so here we have Twitchlandia. I have uh, just recently made this. Uh, the seed for this, uh, I will put in the description of the video, actually. Um, it's uh, uh, 13374205W46. Um, and yeah, that's that's this, what we're working with. I was supposed to start with a bonus chest. I wanted to, but my spawn area... Um, which we might, hopefully we won't wind back up in, but um, my spawn area is a, a, a snowy ice biome with tons of powder snow that we just fell right into, and I was more concerned with trying to stay alive and escape right as, as soon as we spawned uh, than trying to uh, collect the bonus chest. So I don't, I don't know where it is. There's a bonus chest somewhere over there, I think. Um, but <laughs> at least we found the Ruined Portal. That helps. We got some really weird and advanced stuff from the Ruined Portal. It's probably going to speed us along at some point. I have no idea what half of it is, in all honesty. Um, I do recognize a lot of the mods in this pack, so I'm really excited to um, you know, know at least some of what's going on. But uh, you know, I'm going to be learning about some of these mods, too. It's going to be very fun. I'll probably edit this out for the YouTube, but you get the extra special chit-chat time. There we go. Yay! It's our house. All right. Let, let everything load for a sec. Okay. Um, oh, this is a bit... There is some latency. Uh, there usually is a little at first, but it isn't typically this bad. I wonder if I have anything in the background that I forgot to close. Oh, I do. Um, ah, yes, that's much better. Okay. Sorry again. Okay, so uh, I guess first off, let's talk about what we picked up so far. Um, so you'll notice there's a bunch of clay here. That is because we need to make coal coke uh, ovens to make creosote oil to then burn in generators. That's that's kind of the game plan at this point. I'm sure we're going to have some hiccups along the way. This is an expert mod pack, so it's going to be hard. Um, but we will figure it out. Um, let's see. So... The goal at this point, uh, if I go to uh, the uses here, we can see that this can be used to make coal brick. Yeah, coke brick if I find sandstone. Accepts any sandstone you see there. So I need some kind of sandstone, and I have no sandstone and no sandstone nearby. So we're going on an adventure because I need a bunch of this to uh, 
make into all sorts of stuff. You can see I've been making some bricks here. Um, there is a large, was a large uh, clay deposit here. Uh, there's a nice little cave here with all this nice natural lighting, a uh, big open ocean right beside us. So this is a great spot to build a little base. Um, that's where we were and that's where all the clay came from. <clears throat> you can see there's a, an assortment of random stuff like these glistering melons, uh, which are apparently crafting ingredients. Uh, got and this that came out of that uh what's the called uh the ruined portal chest nearby uh, as well as this gold so that's gonna be nice we've got a little bit of gold uh, you start with these books this akashic tome this is fantastic uh, it is actually every single tutorial book in the game uh, at once so if you uh, ever want to look something up in game you've got it right here you don't really necessarily have to go to wikis although sometimes going to a video or a wiki is a little more helpful get that information a little bit more clear uh, than when you have to read it we also got these pressure tubes um these are cool i haven't really done pneumatic craft before so i'm not exactly sure how to use it but it seems like it's a pressurized tube moves stuff uh it's probably handy if we look at uh how to make it uh, it's pretty expensive with this compressed iron. That's actually hard to get. We need this uh, multi-servo press or presser chamber uh, to make this. It's, it's kind of hard uh, to actually get this at all. Nice to have eight of them. Uh, regardless, we are uh, going on an adventure. We don't really have... Oh, you know, before I go, let's make a couple more pickaxes and tools and stuff. Because I have not very much. Let's see. Uh, we've got planks and logs there. The rest of our logs would be good to have. And we can make some planks here. Oh, nope. Turn these into sticks. Okay, grab a little bit more stone and let's see. Yeah, we've got a crafting table. Great. I never want to leave home without your crafting table. Grab a couple pieces of stone here. Just make another pick. There we go. That ought to be enough to get us some sandstone. Oh, uh, you know, let's close the door. Just in case. Alright, so, uh, where to go? Where to go? I don't really know which direction we should go, and there's a temple on top of that mountain. That's cool. Definitely going to have to explore that. Uh, we can see here's the map. We have an awesome mini-map uh, mod. If, again, if you're not familiar with the mods, <laughs> there's a mini-map. It's awesome. Uh, oh, we can see there's some oil over here, which is going to be very nice. Um, let's see. It's all sorts of good stuff, but I, what I don't see is a beach. Which is the place where we would typically see sand. is just some kind of large beach or desert. I see some small beaches here, but these are more rivers. It would probably be a challenge. Uh, off to the east over here, it seems... I see that little bit of snow. So I'm kind of thinking maybe we go like west or southwest. Uh, that might be the best way. So I wonder, can I do this little command? Uh, let's see. Would it be T slash... Set home. Okay, so we have this. Yeah, nice. We've got some commands. So we've got a few simple commands. Nothing too cheaty, cheaty. Um, oh, it's about to be nighttime. Uh, well, it's a little dangerous to travel. But, uh, oh, yep, see? Yep, immediately we're getting attacked. Uh, what is this? What attacked us? Um, but regardless, nothing. Uh, this will allow us to teleport home. So actually, I should probably set this inside the house in a place that is actually safe. Uh, so we go like slash set home. Um, and we can sort of, if we say we walk over here, we can now open this back up and just type uh, slash home. And we go right back where we were. So say if we fall in some lava uh, or we're getting attacked and we have to get away, we can just teleport back. Uh, I also should mention I have a keep inventory on death. With mod packs like this, you can lose some ridiculously valuable things in really stupid ways sometimes uh so i figured it would be more fun to not have to worry about losing everything uh but the journey back can be a hassle so oftentimes you don't want to have to journey back either so uh let's see let us go on an adventure let's go west you can see a big pillar of oil over there uh, that is 
definitely going to be useful. We're going to be harvesting that, but I don't have any of the materials I need to actually gather that oil, which is why we have to go on this quest for creosote oil in the first place. So, yeah, this part, uh, there may be a little bit of some latencies. I mean, I'm generating, like, tons and tons of chunks at once. I think I have my render distance set to, like, 30, uh, the 32, I think. Uh, but as we explore back, uh, it will be practically lagless, which is really nice. Ooh, that's cool. Going on over here. Any deserts anywhere on the map? Any deserts? No deserts. There's more oil. That's helpful. Oh, oh, no. That's not what I meant to do. Back in the boat. This button. Yep. Hmm. Well, cool. I like these cliffs. Those are cool looking. But uh, what I'm not seeing is any sandstone. I see no sandstone at all. What is this? Going on over here? Like a ruined building or something? Maybe there's a chest? Maybe the chest has sandstone? Hmm. I'm not sure what the, oh well yeah just some kind of like one thing oh there's a drowned over there yeah I'm not trying to stay uh, let's keep moving keep on looking for that sandstone I mean we can always just break our boat and hop right back home so we don't have to worry about it too much is that sandstone is that sandstone over there I think it is might just be normal sand but. Never know. Yeah, I think it's actually just normal sand. Dang. Yeah, sandstone is usually in deserts below the sand layer is where you usually find it. Hmm. Well. Uh, it looks like this is actually a landlocked area. It has a lot of grassy terrain. Not much sand. So yeah, let's... uh. Let's see. Let's go southwest. I think that will be better. Something like this. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> I keep forgetting which button is sprint and which button is <laughs> sneak. <laughs> Next. The sun is setting. We are just going to keep moving so that we do not get got. I am not trying to get got. I'm trying not to get got specifically. Oh, hey. Uh, sorry, I just saw your uh, your messages here. I had my, uh, my stream manager open wrong. Uh, nice to see you. Welcome. Uh, yeah. Oh, you're an artist. Very cool. I'm a, a tutor by profession. Oh, wow. Hey, that's cool. Definitely going to have to check that out. Uh, what kind of art do you make? Uh, this mod is... Yeah, I can. I can see really far away. This mod is called FTB1. Um, I haven't actually played it before. It's uh, an expert pack that came out pretty recently. Um, and it seemed really interesting. It's got a lot of mods that I love and a lot of mods I haven't played around with yet. So I'm just checking it out. Let's see here. I'm doing well, thanks, by the way. Let's see. An artist, huh? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I um I like to do art as well. Um, I do some music. I really like to make music, especially electronic music. That is really cool. Is it Z to zoom? Oh, no. Wow, I have other hotbars? Whoa. Cool. Good day I learned I can do that. Let's see. Yeah, I don't have um Discord pulled up right now, but... Uh, sure, yeah, uh, you can... I have a Discord channel, actually, that you're welcome to join. You would be uh, one of the first members that doesn't know me personally. Uh, that's if you want to... Uh, 
join that. This seems interesting. This is another thing I'll have to check out. I'm just going to um, lay down a waypoint here. What is this? Um, there we go. No idea what that is, but uh, we're coming back. We're going to check that out. Is that, whoa, is that a whirlpool or something? What's going on here? Uh, I almost went into that. What's, what is going on with that? The water goes down. Oh yeah, we got to check that out. That is some broken world generation. Cool. We need to move though. There are enemies afoot. So we need to stay in deep water and stay moving. We risk getting attacked. Is this desert? Oh, it's stone. Okay, well, we'll have to go further. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Once it's daytime and it's a little safer, I'll type it in the chat for you. I'll put the invite out. Um, but I do need to stay moving for now, just until uh, all the enemies go away. Also, we're looking for this desert. Where is a desert? Is that a desert? Hmm. I guess uh, while we're moving, uh, water check. This is a friendly reminder to have some water. It's really important to stay hydrated. And if you are even a little bit thirsty, uh, you need water. That's your body telling you that you're already dehydrated. In fact, thirst is the first symptom of dehydration. Ooh, this is pretty. Well, uh, hmm. It appears that there is just more ocean. And there is not desert this way. There's some land on the map. Whoa, took a little while to generate. That's unusual. Uh, wow. Oh, I see, because there was a backup happening at the same time. Interesting. Well, there we go. Whoa. There's a house. That's probably really dangerous to go into. I wonder if that's like a pillager thing. I kind of want to claim it. It's pretty. There's some really interesting stuff around here. But not sandstone. I just want sandstone. Where is the sandstone? The stone which is made of sand. Okay, well we can at least go this way. And there's more sand, but no sandstone. Wow, this is deep. There's a whole ravine here. Underwater ravine, that's cool. But no deserts. And this happens sometimes. I it's amazing that uh <laughs> we have to explore so much for such a fundamental resource. You know what we should do? There's an item for this. It's called the uh the nature's compass. Um yeah, I definitely will go check that out, uh, for sure. Once um once I have some uh some armor. <laughs> I'm worried about getting attacked. But uh there's a nature's compass is an item that you can make that exists in this mod pack. And it tells you the most direct path to whatever biome you want. Oh, we have reached the edge of the world. What? Uh, I don't think this is correct. But we can x-ray. We can x-ray for a sec. X-ray vision. Oh, that's very broken. <laughs> is so confused right now. I think there's terrain here. There's like some brown over there that hasn't rendered yet amazing i'm not sure what's going on with that we're gonna go the other direction <laughs> hmm so here's my thought here's my thought what we can do is uh we should go make that nature's compass Ow. please give me my boat flash home okay let's see how to make a nature's compass Oh yeah, I can just come home. Uh, well. 
There we go. Nice. Okay, so that's what we need. Also, uh, yeah, the chunk is not loaded, right? Um, let me grab that Discord link for you. Let's see. I just finished getting this set up. I haven't even added it to the YouTube videos yet. Uh, let's see. Is my invite permanent invite? Okay, there we go. Yeah, that will take you to our rules page. Definitely check that out. Uh, and once you've read that, you can have access to the rest of the server. Welcome, welcome. First little droplet. Let's see, so we need four pieces of wood, of regular compass, and four saplings. But we need iron and redstone to make the compass. Oh, that's painful. I don't have either of those things yet, and we'd really have to go digging far for them. Hmm. Well, what do? Um, we went pretty far looking that way. Didn't really seem to be any desert terrain. Hmm. So that's where that house was. And there's another, or no, that was, that was where the little, uh, weird temple is. And then there's another house over here. Oh, there's a village. It's a village here. That's cool. We'll definitely have to pay that a visit at some point. There's another village here that we revealed. That's convenient. But what we did not reveal is any sandstone. Hmm. I wonder, maybe there's a way to make it. Can we make sandstone from sand? Mm. No, it doesn't look like it. It looks like we need some machinery. So we'd need to already have some things to make sandstone into sand. So, mm, gravel. See what are some other things we have here? We could try crushing it. Right. Gravel into sand. No. Hmm. I guess we've just gotta find some sandstone. Just gotta find the sandstone. Well. Uh it should be daytime soon at least. Let's go in the other direction. We'll find it in no time. And we'll be off to the power generation. See so you don't get uh these sweet little moments of uh, searching forever and ever and ever and winding up uh, moving so quickly that the chunks didn't load. So we want to go west? Roughly west? Yeah, let's check west. And just do a broad sweep see if we can't find some sandstone. would be nice. Let's see, there's the moon, and it is setting, so it'll be daytime soon. Just reveal a few hundred more chunks. We'll find it. Oh, nice. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Don't actually know how to. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. Oh, you just made your, uh, your Discord account recently, huh? New to Discord? Is that? Oh, I found the, uh, found a temple. That's cool. Gotta watch out for those guardians. I guess we need to, uh, 
deviate hard west. Drowned cities, it looks like. Watch out for that temple over there. Looks like we're coming up on the world border again. These boats sure are fast. Faster than the speed of map. Cartographers hate this one trick. Just let things load for a sec. So now, I mean, I guess we could have just hung out over there and let it load for a sec. That's probably this, probably the same thing as what's happening over here. Interesting. Because it'll load uh, pretty far. It's a 30 chunk radius. There's some sand. Maybe we get a little sandiness in this direction. It seems like it's almost all watery. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, you can feel free to message it to me. I like art. I have a, a YouTube channel also for uh, music. Well, I see no deserts. Let's check to the north. Nice. Uh, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll put that in the main Discord. Why is this? Why is there green dye everywhere? Or is that what that is? Kelp. Something destroyed all this kelp. What? What destroyed the kelp? Well, we got some free kelp. Hmm. Alright. Um, let's see, anyway. Hop back to the uh, Discord over here. Uh, yeah. I think... So I'll, I, we've got a little channel there for posting art. I actually thought that I had already put my stuff in there. Um, but let me go ahead and link my SoundCloud, which is woefully out of date. Oh, is this a desert? Have we found a desert now? There could be some sandstone here. This isn't de really a desert so much as a beach, so probably not. It's probably just dirt under it. Um, hmm. I don't see any sands anywhere. Ooh, a boat. Let's hang out here and let this load because that boat has some valuable stuff in it. Here we go. What is going on with this? This boat is a part of the terrain. Okay, well. See, I believe there is some stuff in here. Isn't this supposed to give me oxygen? Why can I not open it? 
point, but I can't open it. Uh, oh, wait, it opened. What? It was just lagging? <gasps> a compass! That's so convenient! We got a compass! Alright, let's go! I guess, uh, that actually makes things a lot easier than expected. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're good. Let's, uh, let's go back. Uh, well, I guess let's check the boat for another chest. Um, because, <laughs> wow, uh, that's amazing. Yeah, I'm happy about that. There was another chest. Whoa. Uh, okay. Okay, I don't think we care about that. Gotta watch our oxygen here. Go up for a breath. Um, ooh, an iron pickaxe. And we finally got some armor. That's helpful. Hmm. <laughs> Is there any use for this? It can be used for stuff. Okay, well... I guess there is a reason to keep it. Anything in the back here? Uh, I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. Oh no. This is wooden. Um, let's go. Okay, there we go. Let's break this and we can get home. Um, Because we now have a compass. That makes everything way easier. Okay, uh, and yeah, let me let me drop my SoundCloud. I uh, keep forgetting to do that. But uh, yeah, I have a, a SoundCloud that is missing a lot of my current stuff. Yeah, here we go. There's some stuff there, some of my tunes that I have made in the past. Um, I have some, a few of my recent st things there. Um, yeah, let me check it. Oh, cool. Oh yeah, this is really interesting. Nice. I see, so you do like a graphic design kind of thing, that's cool. Yeah, I have a, a couple of family members that are pretty interested in that, too. It's neat. They've uh, showed me a, a thing or two. Still learning myself, but it's a, a pretty interesting art form. Let's see, so we've got a treasure map here. There we go. Okay, well, I mean, we've got an iron pickaxe, so that's a huge step forward. I was not expecting the iron pickaxe. I guess we should go ahead and put this armor on. So we are wearing something now. Um, let's see. Okay, I mean, there's some food. Food is good. We do need that. Really, we just want to upgrade this compass, so let's see. We have... Oh, there's four saplings. Perfect. And then we just need four logs. So I think we can make it now. Is this backwards? Oh, do the saplings have to match? I wonder if it has to match. It doesn't seem like it has to match. It just needs to, oh, it needs to be logs, not not planks. That's what it is. Okay, okay, okay. But and then also in this orientation. There we go. Nature's compass. Hooray! Okay, so this is going to help a lot. This is going to help us find the biome that we're looking for. So you can right click here, you can go to search, and just type desert. There we go. And start search. 
So you can see it's got a radius. Wow, we are really far from a desert. Whoa. Uh -huh. A long way from sandstone. Oh man. Let's see. Uh, is there anywhere else we can find sandstone? Because uh, that is 6,000 units away. Accepts any sandstone. Uh, desert NPC villages. Des oh, desert biomes. It can be found at beaches, I guess. So maybe we go back to those beaches and we do some digging. Then we go to a beach. Yeah, let's go to the, that beach that we found. There was a proper beach there. And uh, I think we make another shovel, just for good measure. Okay, so what's really cool about this compass is you can see it down there in our hotbar. We don't actually have to have it up for it to be telling us which direction to go. Uh, let's see, so just have to have it in the hotbar. Okay, so we are needing to go this way. Oh, all this rain is absolutely tanking my FPS. One sec. Uh, not any latency at all. Let's see. That's... oh. Hmm. That's better. So we want to go that way to the nearest beach? Wait, wait. Oh, I see. I need to come around this peninsula and go the other way. Hmm. go. Hmm. Okay. So I guess we're going around and to the north. So it would seem. Ooh, we'll have to come back for that. Actually, what is that? Oh, oh no. My boat is underwater. That's not good. Hey, realistic boat physics. Zinc, uh, that's actually, that's really important. <laughs> to mine that. Oh, I need iron for this. Okay, we've got a bunch of copper, actually. That's kind of huge. Bunch of zinc, too. Hello? Boat? Base boat? Boat. Okay. Anyway. Ah, uh, yes, so that is pretty much where I spawned, is over on top of that mountain um, of ice, which is very treacherous, quite pretty, but dangerous. That cave would be cool to build a base in. Nature's compass is going to be super helpful. I'm glad we got a compass so early from that boat. That's going to make a big difference. Let's see. Yeah, we're still going in the right direction. We're still pretty far. 
from the nearest beach biome. We're getting there. Gotta go around this peninsula here. It is in the way. I guess we could have gone over it. Oh, is this Prismer? Viridium. Interesting. What's it for? can be crushed into stuff. I guess it's rich in copper. Huh. Well, I don't care about it right now. Interesting. Is that coal? Just uh, grab this coal real quick. All right, it. I guess let's grab the copper. I'm trying to break this, uh, wooden pick. What is it? There we go. Fire stuff. Uh, ultimate? Pardon me, ultimate. I think the water is breaking ultimate. Not really sure what's going on there. Hello. Oh, more coffee. You know, there's a setting, I think, that is supposed to reduce block lag. Uh, I don't remember which one it is. But I am experiencing some block lag. There we go. Anyway. Let's go to that beach. I uh, am not going in there. Not going in there yet. That seems very dangerous. We're almost there. Oh, you said it's not? I'm I'm not sure what you mean. I um I put it in the uh the server that I linked to. The community server on Discord. Oh hey, it's the beach. This is a large beach, actually. Yeah, this should be great. We should totally find sandstone here. Awesome. Yay, and you can see this kind of, uh, oh, well. That's weird. It says we're in the beach. I guess it doesn't think we're in the beach yet. We're not in the correct beach. Oh, okay. Um, sandstone? Sandstone! Yay! We found it! Okay. Wow. That is, uh... Where'd it go? Um, did I just get sandstone? I did. Okay. Yay. So we now have a stack of sandstone. That's helpful. 
Uh, let's get let's get some more sandstone. Whoops. <laughs> I guess that's what happens if you hold down the P button. Whoop. Okay. Well, now it's flooding. Looks like I made a zombie fall. <laughs> kind of funny. Um, there's some more sandstone here. Let's grab that. Might as well grab sand while we're at it. We're going to need a bunch of sand. How's that for sandstone? Nice. Yeah, we have two stacks of sandstone. If I remember correctly, for the uh, coke oven bricks, we just need one. Yeah, just one sandstone. So, I mean, this is already 128. So we can make quite a few coke ovens. Uh, let me think here. Do a little addition. Uh, we have nine on the base, nine on the top, and eight around the sides. So that is 26. So 128 over 26. Means we can almost do five. We need two more sandstone, it looks like. Let's go ahead and grab two more sandstone so that we could do five full ovens. There we go. That ought to do it. All right, and I, do I have my boat right now? I don't have my boat. My boat is somewhere up there. There it is. Okay, so we've got what we're looking for. Um, hmm. I wonder, can I set multiple homes? Set home beach. Yeah, okay, so we can actually set up warps all over the world. Um, there's probably a limit to how many we can set. Usually it's a limit of, I think, three. Whoa. Uh. Oh, can't add more homes. Oh, okay, so no, you can only have one home. Wait, do we have, um... Did we lose that sandstone? Oh, we've got more, okay. That, uh, server backup. I wonder if there's a way to, um, turn off this backup thing. It keeps happening. Because I, uh, I think it's something to do with mine together, but I just don't... I'm not doing mine together because I don't trust people with my live stream. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what kind of, uh, what kind of security they have for chat on that. Oh, hey, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome, welcome. All right, we are no longer hungry. Let's go home. Great. So now we've got clay. We've got bricks. We need a lot more bricks. We need way more bricks than we have. But at least it only takes eight coal. Oh, we need a lot of coal. Hmm. Well, can we compress sand? Do we have uh, do we have compressed stuff in this patch? That would be nice. Ooh, that's sandstone. That's also sandstone. Wait, we've got three stacks of sandstone? Oh, that's excellent. I did not realize. Oh, we don't have compressed. Okay. Hmm. Well, then I guess we're going to need a lot of... Oh, wait, that's sandstone. Sandstone, sandstone, sandstone. Let's, uh, let's grab this clay. What we can do is compress, kind of pseudo-compress it. We could also make some... Uh, more chests. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
So we can put this into blocks. That definitely helps. And we can uh, just break it down in crafting back into this, or we can smelt it into terracotta, which we do, which we do not want to do. We definitely want to break it down. That's a good way to store lots of clay. If you've got a whole bunch of it. Turned all that into three stacks. Very nice. Okay, so this is the sandstone that we want. I guess let's go ahead and make some of the, some of these. Okay, we'll grab a full stack here. So what I like to do is just arrange it how it's supposed to be. And then just put the rest in like one stack and hit this balance grid. You can see here, this will give us 16 times. Oh, this gives us three. Oh, we are set. We have. I think that I should be, should be making sound again. I think I was briefly muted there. Um, let's see. Okay, so we need 26 per oven. So there's one. And, uh, okay. So that's nine. So we can't quite make another oven here with this amount of bricks. We'll need more bricks for that. We need a lot of bricks. Wow. So many bricks. I'll have to keep that going. Hmm. You know, maybe we should make some charcoal. So I guess we're going to need some fuel. Do I have another stone pick? Now let's go mine some stone. Uh, go down here into the quarry real quick. Okay, another stone pick, that'll help. Um, let's see. Still a little bit more clay here. Might as well grab this. Well, we got some water problems, but that's alright. Not the end of the world here. Missed. I, uh, I am no parkour specialist. Parkour, and not hardcore. Well, we got more of these. So, soon, we will have enough to start processing this creosote oil. I guess now we need to think about, now that we've got enough to make an oven, that we could shove some coal into and feasibly make oil to burn for power. Sort of a renewable way, because we're turning, I guess, renewable <laughs> in that while we're making coal, we're also making this byproduct. Uh, but we need coal. We need a lot of coal. Um, we need to go mining. Let's see what level coal is prevalent at. Where are we most likely to find it in the world, Jen? See, it looks like uh, it's relatively common underground. It's actually really common at higher Y values. So way up high, Y200. Y100. So if we can find some extreme hills, maybe. Mm 
Why is there not a clip? There's no clips. Hmm. Well, you know, I guess we're kind of in a place. Stony shore here. We might be able to go up. Find some coal. Although I'm not sure we're going to be able to find iron there. Which is what we really want also. We could find some iron underground. And find coal at the same time. But I think we need the coal more pressingly. So let's try... Let's go over here and try searching up high. And see how high this mountain goes. We uh, did jump off it to form our base. You know, considering how easy it is to just jump down. Oh my goodness. There's coal right there. Let's go. Uh, Alright. Is that iron also? I think that's also iron. Well, alright. We're off to a good start. <laughs> off to a good start over here. I don't really have the materials I need to pillar up to this, actually. So let's go do some other digging on top of this mountain once we find a way up. And uh, we'll, we'll grab those when we come back. This seems good. Gotta have a stone for that. Copper, not really important for us right now, but we're gonna want lots and lots and lots of copper. It does our electronics stuff, which we'll be getting to very quickly once we have power. Yeah, the early game is a bit tough while you're hunting for whatever early power method you decide to go for. There's always going to be some amount of digging that you've got to do. Some amount of foraging, setting up your early game essentials, kind of like any normal Minecraft playthrough, but it very quickly goes off the rails. It does not stay normal for long. Let's see. What's this? Appetite ore? Alright, that's not usually outside of rivers, but okay. Weird to see it here. Um, this is a pretty high, but there's some iron here. Ah, uh, that's a spooky thing they're doing out there. Is that a spawner? What kind of spawner is this? A spider spawner? Well, I'm glad it's not able to spawn anything right now. What's in the chest? Oh no, my inventory is full. Um, hmm, I don't really care about... I guess I have to break the spawner. Yeah, I mean, I definitely don't want it spawning things. We'll use that broken spawner later. Diamonds! And buckets. And gold. Oh my. Wow, this is really nice. Um, Okay. Free spawner chest exposed. This was a, a good idea. I'm glad we came up here. Got some armor. That's nice. What do these do? Invisibility. And a night vision. I don't know why I brought all this stuff with me. I definitely didn't need it. But we can make a little room. Like this. That way we can bring all those potions back. Um, let's go home. You know, if, uh, if I know anything about these commands, there's probably also back. I hope so. That would be very nice if there was a back command. Also, we got diamonds. We got diamonds. Go. Go. 
we're going to hold on to this for now. Let's see. Uh, so we're going to make a couple more chests also because we ran out of space. Now we've got some more space here. Oh, that's that's cursed. Um, let's fix this. There we go. Much better. I'm thinking I like to have a, 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 a chest where I put a bunch of boxes, or not boxes, blocks. Like random blocks and things which will become blocks. And then I have uh, other stuff like food, crafting materials, that sort of thing. I guess everything is a crafting material, if you think about it. Um, but say things like clay would go in here, and bricks might go in here, but flint, probably not. Coal, not so much. But compressed stone and moss blocks. Maybe not pumpkins. There we go. Got our materials here. There we go. Much better. Got things kind of spread out a little bit. Put these potions here. I'm going to need some more food if I'm going to go anywhere. Grab some snacks. Uh, I think that's good. Nightshade we should definitely not eat. Oh, I've got another some block here. Nice to have a bucket. Those are expensive. Okay. Hmm. So I wonder if I can flashback. I can. Oh, that's glorious. That is really nice. So we can go home and back again from anywhere. And we can change that home freely. Although we can't change our home back to where it was set freely. So we have to think very carefully where we set our home. And when we change it, we have to make sure that we really want to leave. That we're ready to go to another base at that point. Lots of iron. There are ways to double this that we will definitely be getting into. I think um, pulverizer is probably what we're going to go with. But that is going to take some time to get to. We are not there yet. Uh, but we are at the height where coal becomes very common. So we could start to strip mine uh, underneath of all this dirt. Could work. We could kind of wander around aimlessly. I was hoping that this would be more of a rocky mountaintop. I guess it's mostly rocky over that way. And snowy and dirt up here. But I'm kind of curious if we uh, if we just start digging. Let's see. Uh, what do I? Hold shift. Let's see. Tunnel. I want small tunnel. Yes. Okay, see, this is gravel, though. Also, you can ult mine with your fist. Ooh, cool. Oh, um, that's not helpful, actually. One sec, uh... Okay, wow, a bunch of coal. Awesome. Uh wow, that's a that's quite a tunnel. Um let's see.
I mean, that is pretty fun, actually. Uh, oh, it's not lit. I thought it would be lit. This is all just ice through and through. Yeah, permafrost. Okay, nope, nope. Well, I guess we're not going that way. So if we dig in, we get a little bit of rock, and then we get... <laughs> There's coal everywhere, though. <laughs> There's absolutely so much coal. Um... Let's see. Oh, uh, let me grab a couple pieces of stone. Is there stone anywhere? I need to, like, go seek out stone right now. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Flush that one out. Uh, what was that about not working hard for a parkour? Okay. That ought to get been taken care of. How did I get up there? I went this way. Let me up. Let me in. Oh no. Where did I start digging though? There we go. Okay. Um. Oh, so much. Yay. We have a lot of coal now. And it is nighttime. Uh, so let's go... Let's go not here. Go be somewhere else. Go to a slash hunk. Alright. And, uh, oh, I guess we need to set a new home here. We'll set it here. Okay, we have heckin' coal. Um, so much coal now. Uh, yep, yep, quite a lot of coal. So we're going to continue to cook our clay. Got a bunch of clay that needs cooking. We're just going to shove that in there. Let's see. Okay, well that's good. Um, so we've got a lot of other blocks. Sort these out real quick. So as far as tools go, uh, we could definitely stand for an upgrade. We've only got an iron pickaxe. We do have a spell, which is very handy. We haven't really had to fight very much because I've been <laughs> deliberately avoiding that until we have some decent armor, which we do not. 
Um, let's see, okay, well, we've actually got a stone axe. That's pretty good. Maybe we'll keep this as a backup. Oh, what is that? Is that zinc? Yeah, cool. Okay, I almost overlooked some zinc here. That probably belongs in this chest. Cooking up these bricks. So we need clay, sandstone, and brick. All right. Uh, Get a few of these oven going. <clears throat> All right, I think that should have us pretty set on a uh, full coke production. Actually, we're probably pretty good for a little while. Let's uh, make some of these ovens the next day. Put those together. All right. Well, um, let's see, this is fun. I'm gonna keep going here for a little while, but I'm gonna take a quick stream break. I just need to. Do a little bit of uh, drinking water, refilling my bottle, that sort of thing. Um, I will be back here in a couple minutes. Um, let's see. Put up a uh, put up a be back soon sign. Check check. Oh. Check check. There we go. That's better. Let's get back to it. Thank you for your patience. All right. So we are off the races now. We have acquired sandstone. That is huge. We needed that big time so that we could make these coke bricks, which is going to let us do all sorts of stuff with the extra energy that we're going to be able to create. However, we don't have anywhere to build. Um, we have to build out a platform here. I don't really have that many blocks. I guess I've got some blocks. Uh, let's see what we can make in the way of builder's wands. I think you can make a diamond wand. Yeah. It's not the infinity wand. But I mean... It's something. We need another star for the infinity wand. So that's going to be awfully hard. But uh, we can make a diamond building wand. That is quite helpful. So let's do that. We'll take one of these and two sticks. Oh, well, I guess we're going to have to make the sticks. Okay. And then you arrange them like this, and you've got a diamond wand. So what this can do is it can place blocks for you. Um, but it's very intelligent, and it has a bunch of different modes, so let me show you what I mean. So let me get in my boat, and float around. Let's see, and there's uh, some stuff here. Oh, something's hitting me. What's hitting me? I don't know why I took damage there. Weird. Uh, so what I can do is I can say, place down... Let's say a few blocks of this. Now these coke ovens are three blocks wide, so I want a five block wide space so that I can walk on either side of it, and then ideally two more blocks so that I have room uh, to build like a wall or a fence or something like that if I want to. So now watch this. I can go to the builder spot, and you see how it highlights that whole region? If I right click, oop, all of them. You can just build out like this. You can also build up if you want to, 
that is a huge mistake, so be very careful not to do this if you do not want to. Um, but yeah, now we can just effectively make a nice platform, and we can put on this platform essentially all the- oh, there's fish. Um, <clears throat> all the coke ovens that we want to. So that'll work quite nicely. Now you can see it does have durability. It lasts for quite a long time. You can place like thousands of blocks. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, looks like we have used 60 of the durability. Let's not smack it. So there we go. We now have a little spot where we can put some coke ovens. Very nice. So that is handy. It's worth worth having that. Um, we've also got a couple stacks of dirt. Might as well knock these out too. And this is really smart uh, in the way it's like this. We can put, say, some dirt here. And if we use the building wand, it knows that we want the dirt. Uh, if we were to do that. It, it doesn't think that we're trying to, say, do cobblestone here. It's confused if we do that. And it knows we go onto that. So, very handy tool. Definitely recommend that you experiment with it. Get used to using it, because you can do some really huge and fun builds really, really fast. Fill in these gaps a little bit. Um, you know, actually, let's put it around. Ladder. There we go. Oh, there's an axolotl. Hi, friendo. Axolotl are cute. If I had a leash, I would make it my friend. But alas, I do not. Okay, so we have filled in the gaps here. What we can do, say if you don't have a boat, you can uh, crouch or sneak around the edge. Place the first row of blocks, whatever shape you want. And then, uh, oh yeah, and I guess I should say, if we wanted to say make a wall here out of dirt, we could just do that. And it wouldn't put the cobblestone, even if we had cobblestone, it wouldn't put it. But what we want to do is actually do this. Just make this longer. That's what we want to do right now. Yep. Oh, and you can see it's used a bunch more durability. We're now at uh, 1448, but it saves so much time and effort uh, placing all of these blocks. We just didn't have to worry about any of that. So let's place these uh, cool coke ovens. Now these are nice and easy to build. Um, it's just a three by three space. So uh, let's place the first one here. And then uh, you have to fill in the bottom. Oops, that's fine. And you want to build a around the second layer, leaving the middle spot empty. Just like that. And then fill in the top. So that's 27 each. But when you do that, um, it's supposed to... supposed to have a different thing. Uh-oh. Have I... Is, have they changed something? Is there, like, a Coke oven controller now, or <laughs> what's going on here? Uh-oh. Uh... Hmm. Doesn't look like this can be used for much. Hmm. Let me look this up. Maybe I have forgotten how to make it. Because I thought this was right. But I have been wrong before, and I'm sure I will be again. 3x3x3 three by three by three solid... Oh, it's a 3x3x3 three by three by three solid cube. Apparently. Oh, and I need an engineer's hammer. It would seem. Oh, I also need to cook some iron. So instead of 26, it's 27 each. Because it's a so solid cube, and we need to go make an engineer's hammer, which I think requires some iron and a little bit of wood. So we've got some iron here, fortunately. So let's cook that up. Okay. Um, that will hopefully get us what we need for this hammer. Let's 
string. Hmm. Uh, well, that's going to be a tough one. We do have some industrial hemp seeds, but I have no bone meal. So I guess we need to go plant this. Somewhere it'll grow. Why is this expanded? Oh, I see. Hmm, so it seems our um, oh-so-smart block placer is not quite as smart as it would seem. Because it has extended this out a little bit. However, this actually is not such a bad thing. Because we, we do need a spot where we can actually grow um, some industrial hemp. So let's, let's place some of this down maybe a bit further up. We'll make this a little farm spot. Okay, so this will grow eventually, and we will have more of it. Mm, let's go kill some more seeds. Let's let's punch some grass. Gonna beat this grass up real good. And get as many industrial hemp seeds as we can. Wow, we're hitting the jackpot already. That's three, three more. I don't even know what half of these seeds do. I probably don't care about them. But this industrial hemp is my ticket to string right now. So we definitely want that. We'll do a little bit of this. Some foraging. <clears throat> this kind of stuff is always necessary at the beginning. Um, see, oops. Feed the Beast is big on automating tasks, so much of what we'll do in the mid to late game will look nothing like this. It'll be building various different machines and automating things. Lots of uh, complex interacting machineries and that sort of thing. But it does take a little bit of build up. This is an expert pack after all, so uh, it's designed to present a challenge to even experienced players. Wow, lots of hemp, which is really good. So I feel like that's definitely where we're getting our string from. Because I do not feel like fighting a bunch of spiders. Let's see, how many more of those seeds do we have? Eight, eight? Yeah, let's go plant those. Just punching that grass. Rectangle of hemp. Hooray. So this, hopefully, will grow fairly quickly. And I don't really know the, the duration on it. But we just need a little bit of it. Let's see. Let's get this engineer's hammer. Yeah, we just need three of these fibers. And I think we get these fibers just from breaking hemp. I hope that's the case. It looks like we might have to do some processing. Uh, of... Yeah, yeah. 
from harvesting the crop. Okay, cool. Well, that's nice. There's some lava over there. That's going to be useful for us eventually. We can create a magma dynamo. Cobblestone gem. Be good. Can we make those you know, cobblestone gems? Uh, oh, there's igneous extruder. Okay, well that's basically a cobblestone generator. Although not per the mod pack name, cobblestone generator. But yes, we do need a special hammer. It seems. some iron, though. We have acquired hardware. I don't really need this hoe for now. Toss that in here. Actually, let's put that in the other chest. Just keep our random stuff here. Actually, fuck that. The builder's one is fine. We don't need to keep that on the hot bar. I want to make some more torches, though. In fact, I'll be out of torches. Actually, you know, let's, uh, let's make torches with charcoal. should be at 15. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's just eat some of these one-off things that I have. And this charcoal will make great torches. So I want to minimize the amount of ore I cook at this point, for clarity, um, because I want to uh, double it. There is something called a pulverizer, which we'll be working towards shortly, and uh, that pulverizer is when you feed it electrical power and any material, it will break that up into like a dust that's first off very convenient because many of the alloys that you want to make you have to mix in this dust form but also uh it doubles it so if you grind up one uh iron ore you get two iron dust and each of those iron dust is one iron bar so it's very important to get that going that's why i'm so fixated on getting this power up and running <clears throat> hopefully we see some growth here. It looks as though it is not growing quickly, but it, it should be growing. There's a thing that grows on this. So, there's good news there, at least. And we will have some string. Plenty of string, actually. This is going to be quite a lot of string, if I remember correctly, from how this works. In the meantime, I guess we want to... Let's build a few more of these, and then let's go hunting for iron. Um, right, it was in here. So we definitely want to build these one space apart. Uh, 
for automation reasons, we want them to be able to both have uh, their outlet be the same pipe. It'll make things run much faster, uh, far less tick burden. Oops. Um, and also, it will uh, just be smaller in general and easier to deal with, require far less materials, fewer materials, rather. Fewer materials is good. We are playing survival, after all. Oops. So we got three so far, and it looks like we can make a fourth one. But we need to, uh, we need a little more space. Now we'll make it anyway. We'll just have to be careful when we check this one. There we go. Oh, ouch. Totally intentional. I wanted my block. Any growth on the hemp? Please, growth on the hemp. Yay! Oh, it's growing. Hooray. That's uh, not taking as long as I thought it might. Let's grab that iron while we're here. Go ahead and do that. Iron tank. But iron. Uh, let's see. Probably need that for making all sorts of stuff. And then I guess we try to pillar up there. It's the only way I can think of to get up to the coal. Oh, that's an axe. Oh, oh no, it fell. We. Uh, this way. <laughs> okay. Oops, wrong pick there. That's all right. A little bit of durability ain't too big of a deal. Lots of permafrost. Oh no, how did I put it on the bottom? You can do that? <laughs> All right. I guess you can do that. All right, so we got some charcoal now. Can make these into torches. They're going to be a little bit dimmer, a little bit dimmer than our uh, conventional torches here. But they also are torches, which is very important. We need lots and lots and lots of torches. Let's see. So I think. If I remember correctly, you can chain together back commands. So we should be able to still go back to up here. Yeah. Yeah, we're right back up here. That's fantastic. Okay. Love getting around in FTB. These uh, little simple commands to just go back and forth make everything so, so much easier. Definitely takes out a lot of the... Uh, the downtime, the back and forth and back and forth and back and forth that you experience so often. Oh no, um, this is powder snow. See, this is what I spawned in. It's basically this powder snow ravine here, kind of thing. Which is a, an extremely dangerous place to be, I guess. But it kind of makes me want to explore it. 
Like, what? what is hiding in this ravine? Are there diamonds? There's some coal. That was really stupid. Definitely should have bridged over to that. Glad that we're alive. Don't know why I jumped at it. <laughs> I guess it's a narrow ravine, not very steep. What an interesting formation, though. What is that? Is that an Enderman? That is an Enderman, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Oh no, but it's time to go. Uh, can I go back up? I probably should have double checked that I'm able to go back up. Right, you know, that's one thing that I will definitely find in this cave is lots and lots and lots of monsters. Hmm. So yeah, let's uh let's go back. But yeah. This powder snow is it will suck you down. It does not support you. And it will suffocate you. Which is not great. You can't jump out of it, you have to dig your way out. Unlike in real life, you can just uh, break it with your fists. It doesn't actually break in real life. Here's some food. And it's all ice here. Let's uh let's see where iron spawns. Maybe we go hunting for iron. We've got quite a bit of coal now. Iron, coal also spawns iron underground. Let's see where we can find iron. So it looks like it's pretty prevalent. Oh, very high, much higher than we are. Um, but it's also relatively common deep underground. Interesting. Um, let's see, I wonder how high this peak actually goes, if there is any rock up there. Oh no, it's just powder snow on top of ice. And it's not much higher. Hmm. So yeah, then I think we want to go down now. Down is where we want to go. Because, like, looking around, this is pretty much the highest point. There's some stuff up there, I guess. But this is definitely much higher than anything else nearby. Whoa. Yeah, let's just, let's just warp. Huh. Okay. So, got a little food. No, I'm on that. Uh, got some iron. That's good. Get some more. Speaking of, uh, hmm. So, there's some hemp. Is it is it grown? I think it grows taller. Yes. Oh, hey, we got some string. Very nice. Okay. So we can make our coal ovens now. And the thing about these coal ovens is that they have this byproduct of creosote oil. And it's pretty problematic a lot of the time because it's a, it's not a very valuable oil. It's honestly pretty wimpy in terms of power production. But they don't make a lot of it, so a lot of players just kind of ignore it. And um, I like that this kind of makes you pay attention to it. So I think if I... 
I click it? Yeah. There we go. This shows up on... We'll put this on the outsides, I guess. And it now has become a Coke oven. So what these Coke ovens do, if you right-click on them, is you can shove Coke or coal inside of them. And they will convert this coal into coal coke. Coal coke is a concentrated form of coal that is much more energy efficient. And it just does this passively. You don't have to give it anything, um, but it will fill up. And if this fills up, it stops. So we definitely are going to fill these up. Um, not with this batch of coal. We would need a lot more coal to fill these up. That's one of the reasons I made so many of them is so that we have a larger creosote storage. Um, and actually, I kind of want this to be on the other side, so I am going to break it. Um, and then put it back. And then hit it on the other side. That way it's all the same. I did not realize there was all this other coal. There's a lot of coal currently. Um, so let's put this again. I guess we'll put eight more in there. <clears throat> and this, it takes a while. It takes a little while to do. You can see it's not very fast. So this is more of a fire and forget kind of thing. We'll come back to it and there will be barely any creosote oil and there will be lots and lots and lots of coal. Um, so in the meantime, now we need to get iron. Yeah, we need a, a coal generator. You can see here, coal generator. Um, oh, there's a little bit of lag. Uh-oh. A lot of bit of lag. That's not good. It right, seems like things are fine. Uh, are things fine? Uh-oh. Double check. Maybe it's just my uh, internet connection. Okay, things are fine. Oh, I have the, I have the, oh, the focus break thing there. <laughs> Killing myself in editing. Um, there's no way to take that out either. I'm just gonna probably leave that in. Well, uh, <laughs> that's the second time I've done that. So now I need to make these hammers, not these hammers, these plates. Yeah. So it looks like I need several of them. I need six. Yeah. So I need eight bars of iron in total. And right now I have three. And I think two more. What? Oh no. Um, there we go. Yeah. Two more ore. Mm, let's see. Is there any way I can crush this by hand? Okay, I can crush it with the hammer, but it only gives one. Bang. I was hoping it would double it. See, so your crusher gives two. We look at uh, pulverizer. We got iron and nickel grit. Interesting. So instead of doubling, it just gives us a chance of nickel. Hmm. So it would be the crusher that we're actually really interested in. Because that's our ore doubler, I think. 33% chance of doubling. Hmm. So, I kind of want one of those. That's pretty rad. Does it double all ores? Block of raw iron into 12? Oh. Hmm. So it looks like if you feed it blocks of raw stuff it will give you three extra 
Ah, it, it assumes the 33% rate. But if you give it individual, it rolls. Okay, well, I'd rather feed it blocks. So how does this crutcher work, then, and how do I get one? Crush emits into their dust counterparts before many other operations. Okay. Oh, wow. Control circuits, huh? Yeah, we need uh, a lot of things before we get a crusher. Okay. Hmm. The pulverizer was kind of what I was thinking, but it looks like pulverizer doesn't actually double in this mod. Oh, wait, maybe it does? Hmm. Ah, okay. So if you feed it raw things, it has a chance for the offshoot. But if you have a silk touch pick and you give it the ores, <clears throat> then it will double the ores. Ah, uh, interesting. It says boostable. So here's an awesome trick with JEI. You can do at and then search. So mechanism. <clears throat> and here we see all the mechanism mods. So I wonder if there's one here that would like boost up, say, um, is this a, this is a mechanism thing, right? Oh no, it's thermal expansion. This is the wrong thing. Yep. Not destroys an excess known primary. Events are up. Yeah, that's nothing too amazing. So I was kind of I was hoping that we would have ore doubling, but it seems as though we're not going to get that, except with certain anything that we pull out of the ground that stays an ore, we can double this way. But it seems as though most things are not doubleable this way. Good to know. It's good to know. Oh, regardless, we still want power and we still want the pulverizers. Um, and the induction smelters, because that's going to make everything way easier overall. Um, but yeah, we'll have to make sure to bring any ores to the pulverizer for sure. Um, if we have any block ore. No, are we? Is there an advancement here? Do we get anything from these? Guess not. Okay. Hmm. So we have five out of the eight we need. So let's find a way to dig down. I guess we've got enough copper here. Not enough copper, enough torches here. Um, we're going to need more food. So let's toss this permafrost in the water and forget about it. Oh, almost jumped off the edge here. Grab a little bit more food. I think we had some fish. Oh, we have wheat. That's great. Let's make it into bread. Let's see what recipes we got. So there's that, which seems obvious, but I wonder if they've got a better one. Sometimes there's a better bread recipe. Oh, one time I made a bunch of wheat into this block. Uh, not realizing that <laughs> it's decorative, uh, <laughs> and that you can't, you couldn't uncraft it. I was quite sad. Um, so yeah, these cork blocks and hay bales also are um, these. You know, notice here if we go to what you can craft with it, there's one thing you can't make with it, and that's wheat. You can't break it. Oh wait, well, I guess you can. So maybe something was wrong with my installation then. <laughs> I don't know. So I was definitely stuck. Regardless, we've got bread. Hooray for bread.
Oh, you know, that was stone block. I wonder if bread just works different in stone block. Um, so what I like to do is pick a direction that I think won't be water and try to dig downwards in that direction. So, for example, uh, let's see. we can go this way. And then just try to do something like this. And with Ultimine, there's actually a great uh, shapeless miner for this. We could do uh, Escape Tunnel, I think. There's a small tunnel. No. Mining tunnel, I think. Yeah, I think it's mining tunnel. Yes, and you can see it mines down like that. Is that not fantastic? And there we go. Um, we've got a tunnel. Now it seems to... Uh, I, it seems I've guessed incorrectly and in that this is, in fact, water. It is quite watery indeed. But uh, the idea was definitely there. So let's see. Uh, I need cobblestone on my bar. I must have been inside. <laughs> I think I was inside of the torch. Okay. Hmm. Well, that wasn't the right direction. Oh, that's also not right. So, if that was water, let's see, maybe this way won't be water. Let's check. Is there water over here? There does not appear to be water over there. Um, so, if we dig that way, there's a bunch of water there. If we dig this way, Seems like it's we would just dig out into the open. So yeah, let's go there. I'll try this. Go back to mining tunnel. Where's this water coming from? Why is this sudden? Uh, is why is it all underwater? I swear it's not. Okay, well, uh, I guess there's there's like a an, a large underwater region directly beneath what appears to be like a false surface. Hmm. Well, this is very inconvenient because that's in every direction. Uh, hmm. We tried digging this way. I don't think we tried digging this way. But I need a uh, whoops. Need a new pickaxe. Let's make that. And a site notably being just a, a different version of cobblestone effectively the same thing. That's my porch. Okay, well that dug for quite a while. There is a little bit of spillage here, but it seems like this is a much more coherent tunnel in that it doesn't immediately flood. Uh, but also, there is a substantial drop. 
um, into this sort of underground area. Uh, let's see, what if we go left? What if we turn? Also a substantial drop. Looks like there's a wall that way, though. Look at a little hallway. A little detour on the way down to the mines. Ah, whoops. Okay, and we're back into Waterland, where everything is water. Okay, yep, it's all water. I guess we're just on an island. So wait, what if I double back? Dig down. Um, that might work. We go this way. Or not. Uh, let's see. Okay, well, we're right up against a wall. That will make things nice and easy as far as building is concerned. All right, um, you know, in hindsight, definitely should have uh, placed that a few blocks lower. Well, so much for smoothly descending. We've got a staircase at least. Okay, and this is a very dangerous place. It's not, not the kind of place that you want to be, generally speaking. Um, so we're going to try to make this a little safer by adding walls, which uh, is a bit of time consuming, but it's also safer, a lot safer. And this is going to be a pretty permanent fixture. So it's definitely worth improving quite a bit. Uh, Might need to go back and do some more digging just to get the supplies we need. Well, we'll just generally use whatever uh, blocks we have on hand. No. We won't actually be doing very much mining in the future, so it doesn't really matter what this looks like. Um, eventually we'll automate all the mining stuff. So we won't have to worry about that. But uh, yeah, we'll go up and down this a few times. Enough for it to be worth it to make it safe. So let's go do some more digging. The 
so we just sort of generally want to dig like that way. Okay, that was perhaps less than ideal in hindsight. Probably should have seen that coming. All my torches are gone. That's lame. Um, let's put a ceiling back. I mean, I did really want all this cobblestone, so... There's that. Yeah, this is a, a little bit on the inconvenient side. Well, hmm. Not exactly what I intended to do, but all right. Why? Why does it make me jump or whatever? I, I don't like that. I don't. Okay. Got a lot more cobblestone now. <clears throat> Let's go place a bunch of this. Places like there. Okay, let me double back. sure if I put this here, is that too low? Yeah. And now, we have a safe tunnel. Get some torches. Always on the left for depth. To remember that you're going down. Very important. That is not something you want to forget, believe you me. startled me. Okay, and we'll have iron in no time now. Of course there are enemies, because uh, we ran out of blocks. 
So we'll have to uh, run back up and grab some more blocks so we can finish closing that in. We're almost safe. But uh, not quite fully safe. here. Don't want random stuff spawning. That's never good. Gotta make sure areas are well lit. Is that a, that's tin. Oh. Definitely want that. We'll need that later. Once we get past the Iron Age. Okay. Well, that's good. Let's see. Uh, you know, while we're at it, Let's, uh, mark off the way in here or something. Wait, where is it? This is the tunnel. Okay. It would be better to say, put a torch there, indicate, I think there to attract attention, and then, because otherwise it's going to be confusing, go left and right, right for light, and then the wall here. Still going there for light, where is the house? So it's over there. Hmm. Hmm. So we'll go this way. And then we'll go that way. We kind of need a staircase up to. Maybe we can just bridge. Mm -hmm. That'll work. see if we can find our way back up. So go up, up, and then I'm immediately, lo immediately lost. Where am I going? That way? Vaguely in this direction? Oh, I see.
Hmm. Right. One moment. Let's take a break for a sec. I uh need to step away. My bad. Quick to prevent that feedback. <clears throat> Let's see. So then, this. Yes. Okay. Let's get back to it. So, uh, we're almost done. Almost done building this. We've got more blocks now. That's good. That's making a big difference overall. Nope, I think I'm going to turn down my render distance a tad. I think it's uh, just a little intensive at 32. Let's try something like 24. And maybe simulate 16. So there's still a little choppiness sometimes. and uh, I don't want to... No, I don't like choppiness. I'd rather it be smooth. I mean, there's expected, you know, it's reasonable for there to be, like, a little choppiness sometimes when it's loading new chunks. I think that's pretty... and it just comes with the territory. But, uh... Oh, you know, actually, I don't want that one. No. Oh no. Um, this is cold. Is there like is this a blizz? I don't I don't know what's going on there. Suddenly I'm very cold, it seems. And there's like weird wispy sounds. Is there an enemy out there? Oh yep, yep, that's a blizz. What do I even do? <laughs> about a blizz at this stage of the game. Um. Wow. Oh yeah. Let me get that focus break off the screen. I, I keep forgetting. So there's a blizz. Um. That is not good. That is. That is the thing which we do not like. So. Maybe did it did it go away? Cause I'm definitely not trying to fight it. Like that's not possible at this time. I guess oh yeah, you know I have a spell, actually. Let me try that spell I have. But I think I need a shield. How do I make a shield? Anything special about it in this game? Well, there's a perfectly normal shield here, it seems. Just wood and iron. Okay. So I think if I do this, I might be able to deal with it. Wait, where is the blitz? Oh, there's a dolphin. Nice. We're lucky. There it is. Oh wait, no, that's a traveling merchant. So there's a traveling merchant here. Maybe the llamas will spit at the blitz. Where did the blizz go? 
to go away. <coughs> I guess blizzes can spawn on ice. Or maybe the blizz made the ice? Where did the blizz even come from? I don't even know. But this trader is intent on visiting me. Um, so I am going to go over here. I don't actually have anything for him. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll see what his players He's an awfully slow swimmer. Offers an enchantment. That's interesting. Well, not anything I have for him, but good to know that. Uh, no, no, no. That is not your house. That's my house. Why? Why? Why do they always move? Try to take my house? Why do they go into my house? I don't even have a bed. Does he go away? Can you not? Are you capable of not? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> hmm. Well, I don't have anything for him. But... Few more blocks, and I didn't die to the blizz. I uh, crucially did not die to the blizz. There was a blizz. He's just spinning in circles. You good, bro? Oh shoot. Oh no. Oh crap. They're mad. I didn't mean it. So now we've got like a little walkway for the most part. Uh, it guides you down the correct path. That way it's much harder to get lost. Cause uh you don't want you don't want it to be easy to get lost in a dangerous or a potentially dangerous area like this one. That you don't want to be getting lost. Let's just use blinks. And the roof was made of wood. Okay, let me put a roof on it, right? <clears throat> so, I think whatever was down here should probably have despawned by now. So we should have an easier time building out these last few spots. We need to block some stuff off here. 
There are some enemies. Should be fine, though. I think this should be good enough. If I can count correctly, then we can go down. And down again. Oh, and there is water. Uh, I guess I'm in stretch things. Oh. <clears throat> Darn. Let's see. Try to survey the situation here. Oh, we're actually pretty close to stone. So this is not too big of a deal. Um, there's just so much water everywhere. Until we get deeper, <clears throat> it's going to keep being like this. And once we've dug in, like, a specific direction for a while, that'll also make a difference. We've been going kind of back and forth. And whatever uh, terrain generation is happening here, it, uh, it's not your average cave system. Um, let's put it that way. Build your own tunnel. Okay, that's a good sign. But I believe that when we break this, there's going to be more water. Oh, there isn't. Are we there? Okay. <clears throat> Fine. We have done it. We are underground. Uh, so what we need is sticks. And then we're going to make a bunch of pickaxes. And we'll break this with a fish. The optimal tool, of course. Eat one of them. Oh, both, actually. Yum. And, uh, we're up. So we want to make sure to set this to mining tunnel. And then we can just dig down. Got ourselves a nice little tunnel. This is, of course, much easier than it used to be. <laughs> there we go. Right, and remember left for depth. Let's see, so what depths were we trying to go down to? See, well, we have gone way past it. Now, what is this? Silver ore? I don't even know. Deep slate? Oh, okay. So we're pretty deep. <clears throat> so iron ore seems to generate 0. 0.4 to 
9.5, so half a percent around 15 to 16. What is this deep slate iron? It generates a little higher, actually. 20. And this also is iron. So, I mean, we could dig anywhere from, like, 16 up to 20, and we would find plenty of iron. Um, let's put our feet on 16. Now, the number over on the right is the number where your head is. So we want that to be 17. There we go. Uh, and here we can just now switch away from mining tunnel. We can go up to mine. Uh, small tunnel. And this will make a... Oops. Keep doing that. This will make a small tunnel in front of you. Uh, yep. Do be aware that <clears throat> situations like this may arise when you make use of the tunnel feature. But it does drop all of the stuff at your feet, which is fantastic. I guess we're just going to dig until we get to... Well, you know, this seems like not the direction to dig in at this level, so let's try the other direction. Let's just block this off. We'll put a torch <clears throat> to light it up and then block it off. And, uh... Yeah, this dug 64 blocks. That seems much better. We'll just see if we can't find ourselves some iron. Niter, sure. <clears throat> Niter? I have only met her recently. Oh, there's silverfish. Okay. Um, uranium needs iron, so we can actually make a reactor, potentially. Which is pretty cool. Uh, there's some lead ore here. Let's switch to uh, shapeless. Wow, 13 block vein of lead. Incredible. I like to put torches in places to make sure that they do not spawn mobs. Some lapis here. That's nice. Good to have. Definitely want lapis. A little bit of tin. No iron yet. All sorts of good stuff, though. So we are at a great height for mining. So uh, let's put another torch in. Do another ultimine. You'll notice this <coughs> ultimine does absolutely move through your food very quickly. You do use stamina for the blocks you mine. So you'll need food. Whoops. Again. With the, uh, I need to just move that to a different hotkey. <coughs> I keep accidentally pressing the wrong button. Oh, uh, <laughs> this is not the right tunnel. Small tunnel. There we go. Just break the pick. Okay, there's some water over there. It's inconvenient. So I guess that makes the end of this tunnel. But that's okay. <clears throat> because this tunnel, we can probably make branches off of. And that will be good. So let's go back here. We dug way out this way. Let's see what happens if we dig a little bit this way. Seems fine. 20 blocks? That's not super promising. What about this? 64? Ooh, okay. Yeah, this is going to go very deep. So let's do this. Reveal some more stuff. Oh, 
copper. Well, well, we can certainly make some more iron picks. Or steel, or, uh, not iron picks, uh, stone picks. We did not find any more iron yet. We found some other stuff. But no iron. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Well, all right. I guess that gives us an idea of what the other tunnels are like. Um, let's go home and drop some stuff off. Oh, you know, I probably might need a bucket. Bucket, uh, good to have in a pinch. Boat's probably not gonna do me any good down there. Diamond one either. Okay, but actually, I want a stack of gravel. Always good to have a stack of blocks that fall, and a stack of blocks to build with. And then let's get, uh, let's get some food. Is that plenty? Up here. Get more food. Uh, running a little low on food. Probably need to start farming. Let's uh, let's take these wheat seeds and plant those. Now that we've got some, uh, some cabbage. Okay, that'll work. Now that we've got plenty of hemp. Wow, this takes a long time to grow. I'll just pile that up. And then drop the other stuff. So I don't... Do we just plant this? Is that going to go? No? Okay. I don't really know how it works. Okay. Well, I mean, it's some food. Not very much. Kind of thought we had more. I might need to go seed hunting a bit. What's this? Beetroot? Oh, well. Okay, there's some food. That'll work. Just gotta grow something. Gotta grow something. Hmm. Well, we're doing well on copper. Not quite a lot of that. Iron, not so much. We're still hunting that. Only four raw iron. Still a couple short. So let's uh, let's go back down. And our inventory is not automatically full. Okay, well that's nice. Not small tunnel. Shapeless. Shapeless will grab all of the the blocks in that vein. What we can do is put this here. Just make a bunch of those. There we go. Now we can mine with reckless abandon. Okay, this is actually a little difficult. Okay, 
Looks like this is gonna keep going. Ooh. Ah, yes, Ultimine is very cool. We have found the iron. Nine of it. So that's good. Definitely needed that iron. Um, a little shy on space here. So let's go break a couple more pickaxes. Tons and tons and tons of ores revealed so far. Oh, where's that? Silverfish. Oh, man. Oh, they're mad. Okay. We're fine. Just, uh, doing some digging. A little bit of dig. Some big digs. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I may have overdone it on <laughs> the pickaxes. Oh. Uh, hmm. I think I meant to go home. I meant to go home. Okay, uh, hmm. I guess it reverses you through all of the last backs? I don't... Is there a forward? Uh, okay. Well, anyway. What is Okram? Okay, I just, I probably just need to put like three of those in there. Okay. Okay, and down into the mines we go. That is not safe. There we go. Safe. Oh, iron. Missed this the first time. Just one block. Go. Oh, it's something. And this is why you put your torches high. Yep. That's why. Otherwise, all the torches would be breaking right now. In the entire mine. And the computers would crash if it was not powerful enough.
So, I guess we need to break this. Bunch of tin. More iron. Now, see, this is great. A lot of these vi uh, veins tend to spawn together like this. So, that is pretty cool. It's actually fairly realistic, too, which, uh, which ores spawn together. At least for the ores that are real. Okay, well, we've already got all the iron we need, but there's so, so much more here. So let's, uh, let's take this out. Bunch more iron there. Couple more tin. Thanks. Okay. Tin is very valuable. We're really, really going to want that tin later. Bunch of stuff. What is this? Zinc? Cool. 16 zinc. Wow. Incredible. That is a very big ore of zinc. If that's not the max size, I'd be surprised. Blocks on. Oh, that's the wrong one. Hold on. Only 19. Less than 19 blocks. Oops, again. Um. Ooh, there's a cave. Gold. I don't know. There's so much stuff in this cave. Might be worth exploring. Uh, you know, that reminds me, there was another command that I wanted to try here to see if that's here. Can we do warps? Doesn't seem like there is a warp command. Oh, that's all right. Four blocks. I said it was four. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, I'd say that is a pretty good haul. Good haul, I'd say. So, tell you what. Here's what I'm thinking. Um... I will call this the first stream, 
and we'll come back here and uh, we'll explore this next time. We'll maybe make some stuff and come back down here and explore it. Uh, for now, let's go home. Okay. Uh, let's see, so can't finish up the first stream without making a coal generator. I think that's the perfect note to end it on here. We need to make six of these iron plates and two iron ingots. So we have uh, quite enough supplies now. Quite enough indeed. Okay, so we have two bars of iron. So we need s just the six plates. So let's go ahead and cook these. Um, I guess we would want to cook eight. Might as well. Make the most of the piece of coal. Oh, uh, I don't have any coal in there. Right, I put all the coal in the cold cook oven. Uh, oh, it's all coal now. As you can see, we've made lots of coal creosote. It is positively full. Uh, and you can see it stopped. Stopped at 24. So we've got a bunch of creosote oil that we can also burn, but it's not very fuel efficient. Um, so that's something that we would like to get set up so that we can cook some more coal coke. But in the meantime, this it burns for 16, actually. So uh, I'd much rather just use a single piece of coal. But yeah, it is twice as efficient just for letting our coal sit there for a little while, and we get extra fuel as a byproduct. So this is what we want to be doing with most of our coal that we dig up out of the ground. That is shoving it in this coke oven and letting that do its thing. And then this coal coke is a super valuable energy source that we're going to shove in our coal generator to create tons of power to power everything else. It'd be very nice. Well, there's six, so I'll go ahead and get hammering on these while the other two cook. So to hammer these, we just need to set the uh, bar beside the uh, hammer, and we can do that. You can see it takes some durability. That's okay. Got a lot of durability. Lots and lots. There's two. Let's see, what else did we need? Was it just that? A furnace also. Okay. So there's a furnace. There we have the coal generator. We have power. Let's see. Yep. And theoretically, we shove coal in this. We get power. Hey, that's great. That is not bad at all. A few pieces of gold hook in there. We want to save most of this, but even just a couple pieces of that. Wow, it looks like it's uh, quite a lot of power. So, hooray. <laughs> We've got power. I did not expect gold to be quite so efficient, so that's very good. Um, thanks, Ad Astra, for that. And we'll have to figure out how to connect that up to stuff and get our first few machines running next time. Wonderful. Um, so that's where we're going to leave it off with this uh, beautiful coal generator getting its uh, maximum charge off of just a single piece of coal. We've got 9,000 forge energy. Um, all right. Well, I'll see you next time.